back to our channel, I'm Olivia from Taishan Tea Club. Brewing tea is a study that we no need to understand tea, but also learn how to brew tea. While brewing coffee tea, we often use a thermos cup drop to divide tea soup. Today, I'm going to talk about why we should use a thermos drop and how to choose your own thermos drop. So, let's begin. The thermos drop can also be called a thermos cup. After brewing tea with a teapot or gaiwa, we pour tea soup into a thermos jug and then share with friends equally. Using a thermos jug to divide tea is representing equality without discrimination. In the tea ceremony, no matter the rich people or poor people, they can drink the tea with the same quantity and flavor which is the philosophy of tea, also a national character of Chinese people. Time is very important for brewing tea. The tea will taste different depending on how long it's steeped. Even for 10 seconds when we pour the tea liquid from tea vessel into tea cups, the flavor of each cup will be different. Using a fairness drug can help us control the steeping time. We can pour the brewed tea into the fairness drug first and show to each cup to avoid the tea soup getting stronger or bitter from over brewing. This way, everyone can drink the same tasting tea so they can get the best flavor of tea. In addition, some tender or softer teas like high quality green tea should not be infused with too high temperature water. We simply pour the hot water into furnace jug to cool and then inject into tea vessel. The tea will still be hot after pouring from tea vessel and we should not drink it immediately. In this time, furnace drug is needed to help dissipate the heat and prevent the tea drinker getting burned by the hot tea cup. Usually, furnace drugs are commonly made of porcelain and glass. Other furnace drugs are made by raw clay and purple clay. Some furnace drugs have mock handle, but some do not. Also, some with filter, but most of them without a filter. So, how to choose your own fairness drug? The first step is observing. When you are using a good fairness drug, the water flows smoothly, and the bottom of the fairness drug is flat, so it can be placed stably without shaking or hurting your tea tray or table. You can choose different material and type of fairness drugs according to your interest and need. When using these two glass fairness drugs, you can observe the color of the tea soup. This one with a handle is a good choice for newcomers because you will avoid burning your hand. You can also use it to brew tea. This is a chai kiln rock clay furnace jug, which is heat resident. It's also a good choice for newcomers. Now, I will show you how to use a furnace jug. At first, wash it with hot water before use. It's also a step to warm it up. Then you can place a tea filter on the top of the furnace jug. When pouring tea soup into tea cups, don't raise furnace jug too high, or the aroma of tea will decrease and flavor will change. It can also prevent tea soup from spilling out, and the whole process is elegant and shows respect to your guest. After using, don't forget to clean it or it will leave stain inside the furnace jug. There are three tips that help you use it properly and avoid making drugs. 
remember that the vine is full of worshippers and the tree is full of deceivers, and the tree should be as equal as possible, no favoritism. Otherwise, a person who wears little tea might think you are looking down on him or her. Take one. When you pour in water, this part of the family's job should always face to yourself. Tip two. Ensure the tea soup fill up no more than seventy percent of the tea cup. It shows respect to your guest and can also prevent tea soup from spilling out. Most proverbs say that value of tea cup is in its emptiness, but your guest may not think so. It is awkward when you don't refill the cup in time. Remember when refilling the cup not to pour cold tea soup, because it is a hint that you want guests to leave. Tip three: Pay attention to the guest cup and refill it in time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like if you like it, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so because we are going to be consistent with sharing stories about tea and tutorials about how to brew tea. What types of fillings cup do you like to pick? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.